Hi guys, it's Rachel here from reachthestampin'outwordpress.com and I was looking through the Stampin' Up! catalog today just for some ideas of something to make and so I was flipping through the catalog and this one will be coming to an end soon. So I was looking at the colors and just thinking what would make a really pretty card? I really love the Calypso Coral and the Marina Mist together and just trying to think of a different combination and I don't know why this really popped into my head. But I kind of thought Eclipse of Coral, and then I was thinking, but Watermelon Wonder is such a bright color. So I was sitting here looking at my stamp sets, and this stamp set is going to be going away really soon. It's a celebration stamp set, so only until March 31st is your last chance to get it for free. So I thought, what a cute, oh, tone on tone, and a really big pop of color. So I came up with this card, and... I think I really need to find some words to go along with it because for me this card is in a world of vanilla be watermelon wonder or be mint chocolate chip just don't be vanilla so I'm gonna show you how to make this card it's pretty much tone on tone um what I did is I started with a base of chocolate chip so this is four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half and what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a lot of stamping. And we're just using the ice cream cone from the set. And let's see. I have a piece of crumb cake. And this is cut. What did I decide? I cut that out. This is cut at three and three quarters by four and a half. And then I have a piece of very vanilla that is cut at three and a half by three and a half square and then I have an extra piece of very vanilla and I'm going to show you what this is for afterwards because I think I decided I wanted to do this card differently than the first card and I'll show you why in just a minute. So what we're going to do, let's just make sure this is nice and folded down. So I'm going to get out a piece of scrap and I'm using soft suede, crumb cake, and watermelon wonder and I'm also using the soft suede and watermelon wonder markers. So what we're gonna do first is just gonna stamp the ice cream cone. I just kinda did it randomly because this will show a little bit since that piece isn't completely covering the whole card. And let's see, a couple up here. Okay, so there's your chocolate chip piece. And then we have our crumb cake piece. And this one I kind of did the same. I, I tried to originally start in a pattern, but very clearly fell away from that pretty quickly. I just don't seem to be able to follow a pattern, even if I had to trail behind it. Okay, it's the same thing again, this one around. And then once I had it stamped off, I kind of just went back and refilled in with the really light spots. And then what I decided to do was instead of continuing with the um, soft suede because as you can see on this very vanilla piece it's really faded. So what I did is I cleaned my stamp off and I did my very, uh, my very vanilla piece in crumb cake so it will be a lot lighter. And actually I even stamped it off before I stamped it on here. So. So just stamp off, oops, see, <laughs> a little dark, did it backwards there. Did I mention I'm a little Polish and a little blonde? <laughs> That's okay, that one little spot won't be quite that noticeable. Okay, and then what I did, instead of using the stamp pads, I actually ended up using the markers to color this in just so I could really make sure, make sure this is really clean off, that I didn't um, get the edges mixed up. So I did the, this is um, soft suede, I did this one first on the cone and then I went back over with the watermelon wonder on the ice cream part. And I'm going to show you another thing I did after the fact, too. And this really turned out very cute, so 
this is completely up to you. You could honestly do it either way. Now, when you color on markers like this, I just want to fix just this one little spot. The only thing you have to do is you're going to color in your image and then you're just going to huff on it to reactivate it. So you're right about there and right in the center. Okay, very cute. So essentially now what we're going to do is we're just going to layer these pieces together and then I'm going to show you where I feel like I got a little bit carry away with myself. So I'm going to just pop this one on here and I centered this up just a little bit higher because what I may do in the long run is put um, maybe like a three quarter inch strip down here with the sentiment on it. So. And I'm actually going to put this one up on a dimensional in instead. So I'm going to show you what I did with this. So the first thing I did was you squeeze, or you should say open. You squeeze your ink pad and it creates this little pool here. So I started out by using the um, watercolor pen, cheese whiz watercolor marker. And I just scooped up a little bit of my color. And I kind of just brought it in and filled it in a little bit. And it washes out as you get more to the edge of whatever it is you're doing. Which really, I mean, this was really very pretty. And I liked that a lot. But then, as Rachel often does, she decided she had another idea. So what I did then was, I took this little scrap piece and I inked this up in Watermelon Wonder because I'm going to show you why. And I stamped it. And it doesn't even matter that that little blip is on there because we're going to color it in. So I got my little um, paintbrush again. Good gracious. Sorry about that. And I did it again. And just blended it out. And you're going to see you can blend out that little splotch. Blending it all out. And as I said, it doesn't matter that there's a pink cone because we're going to trim it off anyway. And again, you do want to be a little bit lighter with this because this isn't watercolor paper, but it still does hold up fairly well because Stampin' Up! does make nice cardstock and it really does take a lot to beat it up. The only thing you're going to have to do is you might have to let it dry just a little bit longer than you originally would if you adhered it. So what I thought is, I did that, and I thought it looked really, really nice. So, through the magic of stamping, now it's not exactly the same, I decided to cut it out. And I thought what I could do is, I can pop it up on a dimensional, and it'll look even cuter. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. I'm gonna, let me put more than one. I'm going to show you. And then, just sitting here thinking, I had another idea of something you could do. And that is... Show you how this one looks first. So this is the one, the very first one I did earlier. That's still a little too wet. So I just pop this up on a dimensional, so it just you know matches perfectly there. It's a little bit of a raised image. It looks really really cute. And then I thought, well, just to leave this one because this is a beautiful coloring of it. We'll we'll leave this one. I'm gonna put this one just up the whole page up on a dimensional. The whole layer, I should say, not a page. Sorry, it's getting late. I'm getting loopy. So we'll put this whole layer up on a dimensional. And then one other idea that just came to me you could do, pop this one up here. Again, I'm going to just keep it up a little higher in case I decide to put a little bit of a layer of a sentiment right here. It's the other thing you could do, aside from this, is you could stamp this out, stamp this, color it in, cut it out. But you could also find one other piece. You could stamp this. There's my stamp again. And this would be the same thing for cutting out your piece. So you stamped your image and we're just gonna color this in just quickly. And I'm not gonna do this one as uh, detailed as I did the first one. So you're blending it in. And the reason I say I'm not gonna do it as detailed because it won't dry in time if I do it. And the other thing you could do is you could put some crystal effects on it. And I don't know if you guys have ever used this before. I used to use this a lot. 
and I kind of forgot about it because I had it in a place where I couldn't see it. But this gives a really shiny illusion to everything you um, put it on. And it's really, really great for gluing if you're having a hard time getting like a really hard embellishment to stick to your card, like a, a really thick piece of rope, or sometimes people make little rolled up um, pieces to use as decoration, something like that. This really sticks well. But its intention is for making things really shiny. So you put it on and then you kind of use the tip of it just to spread it around a little bit. Now I'm going to tell you one thing about this though, definitely you really have to either get out your heat gun or make whatever it is you're making way ahead of time because this does take a considerable amount of time to dry. But it looks so cool. And the other thing that's really neat about it is when you're finished with your, um, oops, sorry, had a little run over here. When you're finished, I'm just trying to get the air out of that, sorry. When you're finished with this, it almost looks like it's wet. So it still keeps that really cool, wet look. So it's a really, really neat neat product to use. And then we'll just trim this out along the edge. So those are two other things you'll be able to do with this. And again, this is the um, Honeycomb Happiness. Um, this also, they have some little, um, oh my gosh, what are they? It's like a little three-dimensional circle that goes on here that you can make it so it look like this is popped out ice cream or the balloon but this ends March 31st there's not going to be these celebration sets are going away so make sure if you want to get something out of here it's also while supplies are, are uh, lasting which apparently some things are getting going away pretty quickly so this is through March 31st you get it free with any $50 purchase again this is one of the cards here's the other one that we did with the uh, popped up ice cream here's another ice cream and this ice cream that has it looks so good, good enough to eat ice cream that has um, crystal effects on it. So I hope you guys have got some great ideas from this. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a line. You can reach me at reachthestamper.gmail.com, reachthestamper.wordpress.com, or visit my online store at reachthestamper.stampinup.net. Take care, guys.